Foosh rip. God, you freaking why? What? What? He's losing all of his load. So it's like a beer load. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Still headed to Washington. And we are in South Dakota right now. And look at this view, man. Look at this view. I love South Dakota. I've only been through South Dakota one time. And if y'all follow me and watch all my videos, you saw a video when me and Billy Joe were in South Dakota. And we stopped at an awesome little uh, truck stop. I think it was a Cenex, I think with a whole driver lounge and really friendly employees and I just I really like South Dakota man most of it's easy driving to nothing too crazy look at this would y'all would you just look at it would you just look at it just look at it nice man nice Ooh, I love it I just wanna live on this bridge and make me a little tent right there, boys. And give me a little tent, you know what I mean? A little television set. <laughs> give me a little video recorder. Mm -mm -mm. Just go right down there, do some fishing. Catch me some fish to eat every day. Oh look, it's like a little Another bridge right over there. See cars going over it. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. A little silo right up there on the hill. I had to start filming before I got here. I was like, I gotta show them this, man. This is pretty. So anyways, yeah, we're in uh, South Dakota right now. I'm gonna be stopping at Box Elder, which is about three hours from here, 195 miles. And uh, that's where I'm gonna fuel. Then uh, tomorrow we'll be going through Montana. Should be able to show y'all some of Montana. All right, we're on Highway 34 in South Dakota. We're getting close to Wyoming now because I forgot before Montana, we got to kind of go through the corner of uh, Wyoming. Then we get up to Montana and go through Billings and all that stuff. But uh, this is pretty nice, man. I feel like I'm gonna catch these trucks up here though. I feel like I'm gaining on them. They're going real slow. There's a flatbed up there, and I think he might be loaded down or something real heavy getting up these hills. I'm uh, I I'm like medium weight right now. I got like 34,000, but I'm pulling these hills pretty good today. That Kenworth, that, that Freightliner, I'd be crawling up the hills. <laughs> oh, look at them houses out there, man. Look, at, that's that's what I want. And that's just 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 out there on that hillside, you know, one of those houses right there. You know, just 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 let me get one. Just let me get one. I'm gonna move up to South Dakota, man. I done, I done decided it. I'm I'm living in South Dakota. The two of you guys that follow me from South Dakota are probably gonna be happy. <laughs> it just South Dakota just feels so empty, man. It really does. I love it. I like that about South Dakota. I still have not been to North Dakota, boys. I still want to go to North Dakota one day. I just ain't been there. It ain't happened for me. I might not catch these trucks, actually. It felt like I was, but they're going about the same exact speed as me now. I'm definitely catching these trucks, slowly but surely. Let's ask them what lane we got to be in. <clears throat> see, see if they answer. What lane we got to be in. Nobody partook in my festivities. <laughs> uh, what do we got? 40? Jesus. Okay, we got a slam on it, dude. I mean, it's the sign that says 40 is coming up. Yeah, it's right here. It just went from 65 to 40 real quick. There we go. All right. What if there's a traffic jam? Okay, yeah, we got to be in a certain lane. I won't feel as dumb. <laughs> Bar. There's just a bar out in the middle of nowhere, South Dakota, right here. <laughs> just, just a nice little bar. Ain't got no truck parking. I can't partake in those festivities. <laughs> uh, 
Who's leading this parade? It's 65. Come on. What are we doing? There's one truck up there. Oh, there's a pickup truck with a trailer going to pass him on the left. He's tired of waiting. <laughs> Nobody's behind me. I'm at the back of the bus. I'm the caboose. Why are we braking again, man? Why is everybody braking? What is going on? That pickup truck got around. It's that front truck up there. He's going so flippin' slow, man. Like, he's still going 45 and it's 65 through here. What are we doing, guys? Come on. It's not even uphill. It's, it's freaking flat right here. There's no reason for him to be going. What are we doing? We're going 35. Why does that truck up there look like he has a jacked up trailer? I wonder if... Guys, I can't tell what I'm seeing, but the front truck up there appears to have a trailer that's like ripped open. I can't tell, it's, it's far distance. I know y'all ain't gonna be able to see it, period. But it looks like the trailer's ripped open or something? I don't know, maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it's a heavy haul truck carrying a damaged trailer, which is why he's going so slow to keep it from ripping apart more, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of right now is why we're going 45 and a 65. Come on, I'm at the end of my shift. I'm tired, I'm ready to go. I don't wanna be going 45 and a 65 all the way down this road. And I can't just pass on hills like this. Oh yeah, all the cars are passing him now. It is a, what the hell am I seeing? I can't tell guys. It is a jacked up trailer or a jacked up box truck that, no, it, it's a semi. It, it's not, well, it, it's not a heavy haul. It looks like just a regular Peterbilt, if I could tell correctly. It's far away. I'm guessing it looks like a Peterbilt. Oh, Lord. Have mercy, dude. Luckily, I only got 8.1 miles before I get off of here, but 8.1 miles can take a long time at 45. Jesus, when it's 65 through here, it's not even the hills. He's just going slow. I think he's got a damaged trailer back there, though. He's trying to keep it from getting more damage, so he's going slower. I think that's what it is, if I was to guess. I don't know. Yeah, all the cars are passing him now. They've all had enough. I mean, he could just be towing. I mean, he's probably just towing a damaged trailer, you know, somewhere where it needs to go to junkyard, get fixed. I don't know, back to the freaking company yard after a driver done messed it up. I don't know. Use it as scrap. Oh, here comes uh, Pete right here. <laughs> he's had enough of this crap, too. He's like, I'm over it. I'm going around. Okay, we're speeding up now. Somehow we're going almost 65. I don't know what happened suddenly. Jesus, there's gonna be a freaking accident here. Everybody just hops in front of me and starts slamming on the flipping brakes. I guess because there's oncoming traffic. Yeah, there was. That flatbed barely got around this guy up here to get out of the way of this semi coming along with traffic. Jesus Christ, man. This is a cluster on this road, boys. I'm glad I started filming. Did y'all see that? That's why everybody started breaking in front of me. Remember the distances look further on GoPro, they do. But that little white car got in front of me and I saw the white car, the truck in front of the white car and the freaking, oh, come on, dude. Yeah, he's got a jacked up trailer. I guess, is that? <laughs> Everybody's getting pissed, man. Everybody's stacked up and just stuck. I'm gonna... What are these shenanigans? <laughs> See what they say. <laughs> yeah, look how, look how far that flatbed got, though. I mean, you know he's gonna make another pass as soon as it's clear. He ain't, he ain't waiting. He is not waiting. Hopefully we don't see a freaking head-on collision because he gave no craps just a minute ago. He barely got... If that little... That's like a poop truck in front of me, I think. Like a septic truck. If that little truck didn't break to let him over, 
the oncoming traffic probably would have uh is this oversized look like it shoot oh no the tarp is just bubbling out uh if he didn't break up there man i don't think that flatbed would have got around i don't, I don't think he would have got around in time the opposing traffic would have had to slam on the brakes or something it would have had to, there he goes there he goes he's not waiting <laughs> Oh, is that a is it curve up there to the left and you can't see? Okay, he got back over. He's just passing a little bit at a time until he can get past that dude up front there. <laughs> Nobody's talking on the CB, man. I'm surprised. Nobody's griping right now. Except for me. What's all this foolishness going on around here? <laughs> but nobody's answering me. Five more miles. I'm telling you, it takes a long time to go eight miles when you're going this freaking slow in a 65. I just got behind the wrong freaking person, man. I'm so cheesed about it. <laughs> uh, trailer looked like it caught fire on the ass end of it, if you ask me. It looks like there's like burn marks on the back of the trailer, but you know, this car's had enough. There's a semi coming up there. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, 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 you're about to... <laughs> oh my god, that was close, dude. What is... These people are getting pissed around here. I, that, <laughs> dude in the white truck didn't even slow down. He's just like, I'm just going to keep going, dude. I thought the car was going to jump in front of me. I was like, oh yeah, they're definitely going to jump in front of me because that white truck's coming pretty quick. And then he kept going and I, I got nervous, man. I thought that car was about to commit suicide, bro. I did. Like, is it that serious to commit suicide over car drivers? Y'all do stuff like this all the time. Is it that serious to put yourself and everybody else at risk because you're gonna lose five minutes? You know what I mean? Like, whatever, dude, whatever. I would love to pass, and I am definitely gonna gripe about it the whole time, but I'm not doing anything dangerous to save myself five or 10 minutes, you know what I mean, today? That's all I'm gonna say. By the time he turns off or we take a different route or whatever the case may be, you know, what am I going to lose? Five or ten minutes, you know? I'm going 20 miles an hour slower than I should be. That means I'm going to lose 20 miles in an hour. That's 20 minutes. 20 minutes of my time today, or this load, or anything else, is not worth doing what that car just did and having way too close of a call for comfort with an oncoming semi-truck. It's just not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Y'all do crap like that all the time, you freaking car drivers. Y'all do it, y'all do it all freaking time just to save two seconds. I've seen people, literally, I'm going like 65 and a 65, and they get out from behind me when their exit's right here. They gun it, and they swerve right in front of me while braking just to sling over into their exit to save literally two seconds. I know all of you other truck drivers have seen it. And you're just like, dude, <laughs> it's like, why? Why did you do that? Like, you literally saved a split second. That was all you saved. Your exit was right here. Like, why couldn't you have just stayed behind me, dude? Never fails, bro. Never fails. Oh, Lord. This is terrible, though. This is really terrible. 45 and a 65 the whole way. These hills are not bad. It's not like we're going slow because of hills and weight. It's because of that front truck up there, man. He's got a whole... Hey, you know, us other trucks can't really pass because you can't see over the hills. We're not fast enough. I'm not fast enough. So I'm just stuck. But we got two flipping miles, man. And I'm hoping he doesn't go right. Or I'm hoping when I take this right, it's a double lane road. You know? There's that car right there. Look, he literally saved. Look how much. Look, he came out from behind me. Look how much time he saved. Count it. One to about four seconds he saved about four seconds and came i'm telling y'all he came within about a truck length of the front of that truck before he darted back over that was too close man that truck was going 65 the other way he saved four seconds that was it four seconds he got to wherever the heck that is he was going work or poem or whatever back there four seconds and he almost got in a head-on collision it's stupid it's it's seriously freaking stupid 
I know, you could be like, oh, he had it the whole time. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, but it was pretty freaking close. And if somebody decided not to let his ass in or to suddenly break and close his gap, then what happens? That truck wasn't stopping. He didn't even hit the brakes, dude. He didn't even hit the brakes. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was close, man. It happens, bro. It happens. People die in head-on collisions all the time. It happens. Don't just expect somebody is going to let you over. Somebody might really not care. <laughs> That truck come the other way sure didn't care. But somebody that you might be trying to get over in front or behind, they might speed up or slow down. They might do it not knowingly that you're trying to get over. They might not be paying attention. And then, hell, they might do it on purpose. There's some crazy people out here, man. They might be like, oh, you done made your bed, lay in it. Uh, better yet, your grave. <laughs> you, you done dug your grave. They try to block you from getting over to, uh, uh, I don't trust people, man. I ain't doing that. Not unless it's a miles of stretch I can see. <laughs> and I know that I can get it in time. Um, okay, all right, so. I really hope this guy is doing something else, though. I, I got a feeling everybody's gonna take this right, though. Because <sighs> I gotta take this right. Yeah, it's a burnt down trailer, guys. The back of the trailer is like burnt and it has straps holding it together. So, yeah, that's why he's going so slow. I was actually right. I'm surprised from the distance because it was really hard to see. I don't know if y'all can see, but it definitely got burnt Turn up. Turn right at the traffic light. There's freight in there too. I think it burnt up and he's still taking it to where it needs to go or somebody is because the whole ass end of that trailer is just burnt up. Wow. <laughs> and there's freight in there. That's interesting. I knew something looked weird about that trailer, man. That trailer, it don't look right from the back. Uh, he's up there, too. He's up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to go, though. Highly doubt it. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as I got to the freaking thing, everybody's going. Where's that burnt trailer truck going? Well, it's two lanes here. I would have loved to have passed them. But now what's going to happen is when I could have passed them here, I'm going to end up getting behind all this traffic. And then I'm going to catch them again when it's back to a uh, buck, uh, single lane. I almost dropped an F-bomb there, not even thinking about it. <laughs> Oops. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, I gotta turn on US 212. Okay, maybe that truck, <laughs> little golf cart there is crossing the road, getting in a turn lane. He's just cruising, man. Look at him. He's having a good day today. Gonna go hit him some balls. All right, 2.2. I'm gonna go ahead and get, ah, uh, it's only 35 here. Maybe I shouldn't get over. We'll just wait a little bit. Maybe it goes to one lane. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on today. I'm in South Dakota on the border of Wyoming trying to get somewhere but people in front of there's a radio shack there oh it's open too it's oh, interesting there's not a lot of radio shacks anymore they have been closing down like crazy everywhere you rarely see them anymore yeah whatever hummer i got over in front of you but look you wouldn't win anywhere anyways we're all stuck in this together boys there's a school zone here 25 or no sorry it's not a school zone it's a uh all right it's a little bit cute town right here. Look at it. It's a cluster though, this little cute town. Jesus. Get me out of here, man. Can I can I make it across this? Because there's a red light up there. And there's a track here. Just say, so, okay, yeah, I can make it. I can make it. I was making sure because everybody's stopping at this red light. I'm like, I'm not stopping on this track, even though there's a car right there, but train car right there. But still. I just don't like stopping on tracks. <laughs> That's not what I like doing. This definitely looks like a out west town here. <laughs> oh wait, it's the place where me and Billy Joe stayed at the, the place that I told y'all was an awesome stop. Mid-America Travel Plaza. We're in Be Be Frick, how do I say it again? Be Bellefouche? <laughs> Bellefouche. Was it Be 
dang it, man. I forgot. I remember I kept saying, I was like, guys, is it Bella Forche? Or is it Bella Fouche? I think y'all said it was Bella Fouche. Or is it Bella F I don't remember. <laughs> God dang it. I think I corrected once on this freaking town name and I don't forgot it now. It's Bella Fouche. <sighs> Bella Forche. Was it Bella Forche? Maybe it's Bella. Bella <sighs> I don't remember what y'all told me. There it is. Bella Fouche Rip. God, you freaking. Why? What? What? He's losing all of his load. So it's like a beer load. Yeah, there's beer all over the ground here from that trailer that got burnt down. It's literally, there's bush light sitting there underneath my truck. Are y'all scared to... All the cars are just back there stopped, dude. What is going... Dude, that truck up there is the cause of all of this, man. He's dropping that load. I need to... You know you dropping beer all over everywhere <laughs> from that burnt trailer. <laughs> There's beer all over the damn road back here. Yeah, I got my guys running back to grab some. <laughs> I got you. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Thank you. Turn left at the stop sign. Oh. Oh, there goes another case it's about to drop off too, man. So that was his, uh, I guess, escort with him. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, that's the travel plaza that I went to last time. I'm just gonna wait right here, dude. There's not, that's what we were waiting behind, boys. That is what we were waiting behind. <laughs> he's dropping all of that. He's probably trying to strap it in or something, man. That's why he's going so slow. Holy smokes. Come on, garbage man. <laughs> oh my God. Thankfully he did not take this left. Although it's two lanes, I could have passed him. I just wanted to get Continue on US out of here, man. <laughs> Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown